Introducing Gemini Advanced. The latest release from Gemini will dive deep into everything you need to know about this groundbreaking technology, will conduct tests, uncover how Google may have reclaimed their AI throne, and compare Gemini Ultra to GPT-4. But the big question remains, is it truly worth the hype? Six months ago, Google DeepMind CEO claimed that his next algorithm would eclipse ChatGPT. And in December 2023, they finally announced what they had in store, releasing their multimodal AI demo video, which we found out was quite misleading to receiving backlash for it on Reddit and having people saying Gemini was just a marketing scheme to now finally releasing its long-awaited Gemini Ultra, rebranding its previous chatbot Google Bard to Gemini about time. And finally, it is available in my country. Gemini Ultra is available right now for $20 a month, but they currently have a free two-month trial that I didn't hesitate to subscribe to. And it actually comes with a whole Google One subscription where you get two terabytes of Google Drive storage compared to ChatGPT Plus where you're really only paying for GPT-4. Gemini Advanced is worth more just based on that. I'd argue that the value per dollar invested in Gemini Advanced is higher, but it depends what you really want to use the AI for. For example, there are still some things that ChatGPT Plus can do that Gemini Advanced can't, like creating custom GPTs. However, Gemini can utilize Google Flights, Hotels, Maps, YouTube, and Google's range of work space applications, letting you interact with documents, find live data on flights and hotels, and much more. So quickly to access Gemini Advanced, just search Gemini Advanced into Google, subscribe to whichever Google account you want. It's also accessible through your smartphone, except only on Android for now, available as a Gemini app on the Play Store. For you iPhone users like me, uh, we just have to access it the old fashioned way on our browser. For those of you who missed my last video where we covered Gemini Ultra in detail, Gemini Ultra is Google's most capable model yet, and it's completely multimodal. That means it understands and can process different types of data, including text, images, and code. So I didn't want to just tell you guys what the model can do, but I actually wanted to show you. I asked both the Gemini Ultra and GPT-4 to create a few lines of code for a small game function and wanted to compare the two to see which one generated it faster. So this is what GPT-4 came up with and compared it to Gemini Ultra. I did notice that Ultra was much faster when generating code and overall faster in other areas as well. When testing the models out on my own time, I noticed Ultra was, well, faster. Obviously, it's not a huge problem, but I just wanted to point that out. I'd also love to see what stories both models can come up with. Horror, because it's my favorite genre. Again, Ultra was just much faster with the generation, but how does the quality of writing actually compare? In the heart of the ancient village of Eldridge, lay a mansion shrouded in whispers and draped in the shadows of twisted okay i'm not gonna bore you guys by reading both stories but overall i enjoyed reading the ultra story more now this might just be a personal bias at the end of the day but i thought the writing quality for ultra was overall better now something you guys can compare would be image generation and you can let me know which one you like better and no surprise here but ultra generated the image much faster but which one was actually better although ultra gave me four options to choose from i just think chat gpt was much better. But I mean, if you ever want to generate an image, I'd just use Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion instead anyways. Okay, so creative writing definitely goes to Gemini Ultra, but image generation goes to GPT-4. Code generation, I'd say it's pretty even on those terms, although GPT-4 is better at generating Python code, which is the most used language in the world. Speed, well, that pick easily goes to Gemini Ultra. So if saving time is your main priority, Gemini Advanced is an easy pick. One issue I do have with Gemini I advance is that you can't upload documents to it. Hopefully that changes sometime soon. And that brings us to a critical point. One key area where ChatGPT Plus still seems to shine is its openness to customization and third-party integration. Gemini's reliance on specific Google products, while powerful, also potentially make it feel more limited. Here's where Google's strategy becomes significant. While OpenAI, creators of GPT-4, maintain a laser focus on pushing the boundaries of their language model, Google has a grander ambition. They seem to be shifting the focus from just searching for information to providing integrated solutions through its powerful AI. Whether it's booking flights, crafting presentations, or writing scary stories, Gemini wants to be your AI assistant. It's like having a powerful digital Swiss army knife. So does Gemini Ultra live up to the hype and dethrone chat GPT? Well, not exactly. Here's the thing. These models excel in different ways. If you want a raw, bleeding edge language model that you can blend to your will, chat GPT plus is still the way to go. 
But if you want a capable AI that seamlessly weaves into your digital life, offering multimodal capabilities and Google's unparalleled data set, that's Gemini's territory. Whether it's worth the hype ultimately depends on you. Both have free trials, so I highly encourage you to experiment with both and see which aligns better with your needs and how you see yourself using AI. I still think Gemini Ultra is better for writing, so if that's all you're using the AI for, go with Ultra. But honestly, everything else, ChatGPT Plus is still better.